Morning everybody, happy Monday. It's Meditation Monday. Tim coming from the woods, presenting from the woods. I don't come from the woods, so I live near the woods. So um, yeah, I wanna talk a little bit. Uh, I want to do two things this morning. I wanna talk a little bit about the energies that have occurred over the weekend, including that amazing new moon. And I also want to talk about the um, the positive effect that we can have when we're using certain specific energy dynamics. Now, on Friday, I spoke in the Ascension update about Operation Cage Breaker, which is very much in full effect now. It was launched, so it was launched on the new moon, the new moon in Pisces, and absolutely on the button. As as you know, I don't, I, I very rarely say, "Oh, well, I told you so," but I told you so. On, <laughs> on over the course of the weekend, a new box of tricks or a kind of new, a new barrage of drama was introduced from the from the, th the, the 3D narrative. Now, the information that has come to me and comes through me um, has said like, whatever we are shown over the next six months or so, it will be increasing in its capacity to distract. The whole purpose of whatever we are being shown from the 3D narrative, and this will be channeled through the news and the media, will be done specifically to capture our energy and move it into a lower frequency and a lower vibration. So everything that happened in the UK over the weekend was, it's a 3D, this is my personal opinion, it's a 3D orchestrated drama. Anything that comes through the news, anything that is presented on mainstream media is done with a specific energy result in mind okay so the distractions are amping up now this is a direct response to the energy that is coming in that is being created on a 5d level the switch has been turned up and um the way that it's been described the way that it comes through to me is the field distortion at 3d is me it's reaching its maximum pitch. So everything and anything that can come out that is distracting, that will bring our vibration out of what we are creating at a fifth dimensional frequency <clears throat> and return it to the, the kind of the not so sunny climbs of the third dimensional bandwidth of energy, that, that will come out and it will be always be things that will trigger people, that will grab people, that, that, that kind of um, almost, Anything that elicits an emotional anger response or an outrage response or a distraction response, anything like that. So, as I, as I said on Friday, it's really going to be amping up now. So what do we do in what, what's, what's the countermeasure for this? And I was talking to Archangel Metatron this morning and it's, it's, it goes without saying, every time this occurs and the, 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 the distortion levels rise around us, the best thing to do is raise the light even further. So it's almost like each side is pushing back, but obviously the, the, the 5D one is growing very brightly. We just add more light to it. So what we're going to do this morning is an exercise that I've done before, which is um, cool. It was introduced as beacon pointing originally. I think it was probably in the summer last year crystal if you've got a crystal doesn't have to be large or fancy grab a crystal relax just close your eyes and what we're going to do is bring light anchor it into that crystal and expand the field so what this does it creates a field of light around you around your home or you could do it with a specific place in mind if you live close to a city or there is an area that you know which could really do with a big, solid, high vibrating pillar of light brought down into the middle of it, then the, this, this, is, this is what we're doing this morning. So pick a crystal. It can be any crystal. If it's one that you've got within your home that you use regularly, that's absolutely perfect. So this is my Lemurian crystal. And I'm just calling now to Archangel Metatron, who is, as always, he is ready upon request to bring in as much light as we can process that we can deal with and just ask him to bring a combined pillar of the highest frequency light down from the seven suns 
and you'll see this you might see it as a swirl of light above you coming down now or you might just see it as a single unified pillar coming down and anchoring into your crystal asking to bring the light through your chakras as well so just give yourself a nice monday morning light bath bring the light of the seven suns through your stellar gateway your soul star your causal just above the top of your crown feel it flooding down through your crown your third eye your throat your heart Breathe it into your heart then allow it to flood through your solar plexus, removing any lower frequencies or third dimensional energies or cords and attachments that you might have in the solar plexus region. Then moving into your navel, your sacral, your base and then the earth star chakra below the soles of your feet. Just breathe that light into your bodies and your fields. This only takes a few moments and it really does make a huge amount of difference to your personal vibration. And just ask, ask Archangel Metatron to make sure that the light quoting that you've just taken in is perfect, if not a little bit higher than you actually need. So just allow that to rest within your bodies and fields. And you will notice now that the crystal that you have with you, whether it is you're holding it in your hand or whether it's close to you, will now have anchored that light in and it is shining very brightly. Okay. So touch or hold your crystal and out loud ask it to now anchor this light and beacon point it. Okay. As you do so, this light will begin to expand in a slow but purposeful field from your crystal and begin to expand outwards. So if this is your personal home, just or your workspace or your meditation space, just be aware that this light is now just moving through where you're sat. And it's removing any lower frequencies, any distorted fields, any fear, disharmony or any anger or any disruptive energies that you might have around you and just replacing it with the highest and the purest light. And anchored into your crystal now is a solid pillar of light that is coming down from the seven sacred suns and lighting you up at this moment in time. Now with your eyes closed, expand the field of this light for as far and as wide as you wish to do so. If you live in a small town, you could allow the pillar of light to encompass the entire town. If you live in the city, don't be shy with it actually expand the pillar of light until it is encompassing the entire area and you do this with your eyes closed just imagine it in a circular form filling and encompassing the entire city if you live in the countryside just allow the pillar of light the field of light to just light up the trees the countryside the fields the mountains the plants the people that might live close to you Now you can expand it for a few metres or you can expand it for hundreds of miles if you wish to do so. There is no limit to what you can do with this light once you've anchored it in. Once you've asked Archangel Metatron to bring this in for you, once you've anchored it into the crystal, it is entirely up to you how far and how wide and how brightly this light actually spreads. Now as this pillar of light solidifies, as this field of light solidifies, call on the unicorns, okay? Call upon the unicorns and call upon the dragons. 
So we're inviting the unicorns to come in and bless the pillar and the field of light that you have created. And for, all, for each field of light, for each pillar, there will be four unicorns, okay? Well, there might be many more, actually, I'm just being shown. So there's a flood of the unicorn energies coming in. I always see them as very bright, diamond white points of light, but you might see them as the, the traditional beautiful white horses. And allow them to anchor, light up and fully bless your pillar and your field of light. And the dragons are anchoring the light into the earth. So it doesn't stop where your feet reside. The pillar of light continues down into the planet, guided by the dragons. And just allow this to flow into the lay systems, into the higher magnetics of Gaia, the spirit of Mother Earth. Just take a few moments to sense and see and feel how powerful this pillar of light is, this field of light that you've created. It just might be a small localised one or it might be one that spreads far and wide. And just see it lit up and blessed by the unicorns, anchored in by the dragons. You might even now wish to invite archangels and ascended masters to move down through the pillar of light so that they may easily access our reality. Let's take a few moments to do that. We call upon Archangel Michael, upon Raphael, upon Zadkiel, or Shamuel, or Jophiel, or Archangel Uriel, the Angel of Peace. Just bring them down through your pillar and your field of light and invite them into our reality. As you do this, the vibration rises, the light spreads. Any of the 3D distortion field is alchemized by this very powerful light. And just gently bring yourself back, okay? Just be aware that your crystal is now highly active. It is holding this pillar of light and it will do so. It will continue to hold this pillar of light until you ask it not to. OK, it might need refreshing. OK, you could leave it for two or three days and then you could you could refresh the process where you could do it every day as part of a commitment to the reality that we are creating. Generally speaking, when light comes in, when it is anchored into a crystal, it will hold steady until the dynamics around change, change significantly and then it will need to be kind of anchored and refreshed in. So for all of the distractions and all of the lower frequencies that are being pushed out for, uh, you know, the party invitations, this is how we, this, this is one of the most powerful ways that we can respond is just reset our reality at a much higher frequency and higher frequencies like this will always override the lower ones as part of that reality so just allow that in good way to start the week okay now i hope you feel bright and shiny and lit up now and uh good way to launch into a lovely week I wonder if you, just like I say, there's going to be lots of things coming up, lots of stuff that is presented to us at the time. Doesn't matter what format it comes in, we are holding the light. We are holding the lines of light and keeping it as bright and as high as possible. Okay, sending you all loads of love. I'll be back on Friday with an Ascension update, and on then then on Saturday, Paul Debrio, Carey, and myself are presenting an equinox workshop, spring equinox workshop in the north and then David and I are running the first of the Archangel series on Monday. So lots to do. All right, sending you all loads of love. Bye for now. <laughs>